is Julian Hakes, I'm 42, I'm from London, England. I trained as a fully qualified architect and set up a practice here in London in 2000 and worked on bridges and buildings all over the world. And then in 2006 I came up with an idea for a shoe and it took me in a totally different direction. I was thinking about a number of different projects that I thought had, as designs had stopped evolving, I thought that they had reached a point in their own tradition where they just became repeats of things before. And so rather than innovate, there was too much um, repetition. And I was thinking, how could a shoe have evolved in the way it did? Is it, was it a natural progression? Was it limited by its materials or technology? I was the last one in my studio. It was quite late at night. And uh, I had a little garden outside the office with some mint in it, so I made myself a, a, a mojito to drink. And just sat down and relaxed and thought, I, I wonder if a shoe looks the way it does because that's the way it was. And so I thought about the footprint in the sand and how that shows me where the load of the body goes when you walk. So you have a print for the foot, like a little kind of cat print, and then you have the heel pad. And there's not much load in the middle. But then if the foot was elevated like a high heel, is there any load in the middle at all? So how can I create a shoe which can protect the front, hold the heel. So I, I stopped thinking and decided to start making. So we did a lot of research and, and testing of different machines. And we were looking for something that could give us that blend of a heated build so that it was going to be very stable, it was going to be fast, and it was going to have a big build volume. We found the Ultimaker to be a brilliant machine for us. And we run one here in, in London and we have another machine in Hong Kong. It enables us to move data across offices straight away. So we model it here, ship it over there, email it in the morning, the guys can look at it and send it back. And, it, and it's, it's a fantastic machine to have in the studio and it's, it enables you to do very, very quick proof of concepts like down to this size in a, in a, in a few minutes. So the, I think the key difference with a, an architectural approach is that I started from the foot and the body and the, the biomechanics and how you walk, how the load comes. Then I looked at the material and the process. And then the design is kind of comes from those two things together. I didn't start by wanting to make a twisty shape. The way it looks is the result of the process and that's as simple as it can be. The good design and, and process shouldn't cost more. It can, be, it can be cheaper, it can be more economical, it can use less materials. The shoes were featured in Vogue and Elle and in lots of publications and that's when the, the story kind of rebroke. And then we were approached by a, a footwear investor to team up and with that comes a global distribution platform. So the shoes are now sold across the world. Whenever you're designing a building or a project, there are thousands of ideas that are there and not all of them work. And then you choose the one and it wins the competition and that's great. And the ones that you try that don't work give you clues as to the ones that will work. And so the moment I did this, I, I knew there was something special.